Hey guys, so it is science time and we are talking about formation of soil. So we've done some labs, we've, um, you've kind of looked at two different types of soils and compared them. So now let's just read some more information about how um, soil is formed. So dirt is everywhere. It is in your backyard and on the bottom of the ocean. It might even be under your fingernails. That's kind of, they're under your fingernails and you have not cleaned your fingers. Not all dirt is the same. Dirt can be different colors. Which color of dirt have you seen? Maybe brown, red, or black. Dirt can be very dry, like sand in the desert. Dirt can also be very wet. Okay, so not all dirt is the same. Dirt comes in um, different colors. Um, the, sometimes they're dry, sometimes they're wet. Um, a lot of that is depending on where the dirt comes from. A special kind of dirt is called soil. Soil is a type of dirt found on Earth's surface. It helps plants grow. But where does soil come from? Okay, so soil is what helps plants grow. We don't call it dirt, we call it soil. So let's kind of look at this picture over here. These are carrots. Carrots grow in a special kind of dirt called soil. What other plants grow in soil? So um, <clears throat> take a few minutes to think about what other plants grow in soil? What is weathering? Dirt is made up of very small pieces of rocks. Small pieces come from bigger rocks. Rocks are made up of minerals. Okay, so that's important to note that rocks are made up of minerals. Rocks from the hard parts of earth rocks from the hard parts of earth's surface. How do rocks go from being big to small? The process of breaking down Earth's rocks into smaller and smaller pieces is called weathering, okay? So, but when rocks break down into smaller pieces, that is called weathering. Weathering can happen in different ways. It can happen by physical forces or through chemical changes, okay? So, it can happen by physical forces or through chemical changes. That's why we call the two types of weathering physical and chemical. So there are two types of weathering. Two types of weathering, physical and chemical. So let's read about both of those. Physical weathering happens when rocks are broken down into smaller pieces by the wind, water, and ice. Okay? It's being broken down by the wind, water, or ice. The smaller pieces of rock are made of the same minerals as the original rock. They are simply smaller pieces of the same material. So, nothing is changing. It's the same. It's just small pieces. Chemical weathering is another process that breaks down rocks into small pieces. But during this process, the minerals that make up the rock also change. So in chemical weathering, the minerals that make up rocks also change. Okay, so in physical weathering, only the appearance is changing. It's not going to be big anymore. It's going to just, it's the same rock, it's just smaller pieces. So the size is changing. In chemical weathering, the materials that make up the rock change. Okay, in other words, the rock becomes a different type of rock. So in chemical weathering, the rock becomes a different type of rock. So it's no longer the same rock. It is different. Water is the most common cause of chemical weathering. Okay. So what is the cause of chemical weathering? Water. Chemicals in the water react with chemicals in the rock. The water can be from rain, streams, or even the ocean. The Grand Canyon was formed by water from the Colorado River slowly disappearing rock over hundreds of years. Oh, dissolving. The Grand Canyon was formed by water from the Colorado River slowly dissolving rock over hundreds of years. The river also caused physical weathering as its water flowed over the land. So here's a piece of the, this is the Colorado River slowly broke down rock to form the Grand Canyon. I did not know that's how the Grand Canyon was formed. What is soil made of? 
Both types of weathering can break down rocks into small pieces. The small pieces make up soil. Different soil, um, so what makes up soil? Smaller pieces make up um, smaller pieces of rocks. Okay. Um, different soils have different colors and textures, and they are made of different minerals. Think of minerals like ingredients in rocks. Rocks are made up of more than one mineral. When these rocks break apart into smaller pieces, you get different types of soil. So rocks are broken down into small pieces that make up soil. Most of the rocks are red. Oh, look at the picture to the left, and we really can't see the color because it's in black and white. Most of the rocks are red. The soil around the rock is also red. The red soil was made from red rocks that were broken down by the by weathering. So, um, so that should tell you that the color of the soil is depending on the type of rock that was broken down by weathering um, and what color that rock was, that's why the soil is that color. All right, guys, so I'm gonna have, ask you some questions. Most of them you will find, or you should be able to answer because I highlighted most of them. So if you need to go back and watch the video and pause it at the spots you think you're, you know where your answers are, um, do that. All right, guys.